Hey guys, it's Josie. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a DIY briar horse blanket out of a sock. So um, this was really easy and um, even in the bottom it has these little clips where you can um, take it on and off. So it looks like that. And then you can take on and off the horse. And um, so I just bent this and then I have a little clip here. So this is what I'm just going to show you guys to make. So what you're going to need will be a sock. Um, it doesn't have to be any good sock. It can just be older or whatever. It has holes in this one because this is going to be the part that will cut off. So it really doesn't matter. You're also going to need some scissors. Um, these little clips. I have like horse trophies that I've won or like um, those metal things. And they're connected like here's this and like the straps here. So what I did is I just took this off, and I can show you guys. I just took it off, and then I just bent. I'll show you guys, but anyway, so I have this, and you also need paper clip, and then stuff to bend the wires with. So I have a few different stuff, and be careful, because the other day I was getting them off, and I like totally cut my finger with these, because it didn't give, and then like my finger got caught in there. Ah! And also, before I forget, today's shout out goes to Blue Hill Stables 77. So, this one right here. So, thank you for subscribing to me. And, um, you guys, if you want, I can answer your comments down below if you have any questions for me. Like, um, I don't know, she keeps on changing her name Maplewood Stable. I'm not sure what her name is. But, yeah. She gave me some questions and ideas and stuff like that. So you guys can comment down below. And yeah. So let's get starting with the video. So first you're going to need a horse or a model that you're going to want to put it on. And you could probably take like a gym stock, shock, sock or like a really long sock for a traditional sized horse. But I just have a normal little sized sock. And also you can have any prints. Like you can go and buy Target, Shopco, they have cute little socks like this, and that's where I got these a few years ago that, you know, got holes. These are actually my sister's, but, so, you can't quite put it on yet, and so you're going to have to cut this part, so, without cutting the middle part out, so, instead of cutting this straight here, you're going to leave a little bit so that it will still be a circle, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to start where there's already a hole in the heel so I don't have to repuncture a hole. And then just cut straight. Like this. So now I kind of opened it a little bit better. And I'm just going to slide it over her head. So this is what it kind of looks like and I still have to cut a little bit. So. The next thing is I just have to cut a little bit farther down the heel, or I mean up the front of the toe, so that it will split over her um, hindquarters. And also you can use like a needle and thread if you have a hole somewhere else, or you accidentally puncture a hole or something, you make a hole. Um, so this is what it kind of looks like. And it kind of looks big, so I'm just going to kind of trim it up to your guys' standards. Um, you're also going to need it a little bit longer underneath your stomach so that you can have it clipped. So I'm going to just start trimming it up and making it look fitting the horse, and then I will be right back. So you can also, if you have any, like, scrap pieces, you can keep them, and, you know, you can maybe bend this to make it like a halter, like over the nose. And you guys can just keep these. I do in case I ever needed something. Um, like obviously these little pieces you can throw away. But if you have any extra pieces like this, you can glue it here. Or you can make like leg wrap polo things. So you can just do a lot of stuff. I just like to do keep them. So the next thing is you're just going to take a um, paper clip. And you're going to cut them. So there's a lot of different ways to cut these. I just have my own scissors and these work pretty good um for being like little kids scissors like these are like really sharp and they're better than like my bigger scissors so i just gonna cut this and it just takes a little bit i just go back and forth kind of seesawing it 
until I kind of wear the wire down. And also you can, um, the colorful ones worked a little bit better because they have like a clear coating and then the wire isn't as big to cut. But, um, yeah, it's just really up to you guys. And I'm just going to cut this real quick and I will be right back. So the wire just finally breaks if you just keep on cutting it and then you um, just kind of twist it back and forth. Oh, okay, I found it. I thought I dropped it, but. So that's what it looks like and you don't have to cut it very big or whatever. So I'm just going to take my, I think these are called needle nose pliers, I'm not sure. And I'm just going to bend this. Um, so yeah, you just bend it into kind of like a circle. Um, and then, or you could bend it over like um, like a pencil or anything. I just think these are easier to handle with because you have a handle instead of just a thin pencil. Um, so yeah, you're just going to bend it until it's a big enough circle. Um, so I think this circle is going to be pretty good. And then also, if you see, I went like this and I left a sharp end at the end. So I can clip it on and push it through my end here. So I can push it through. You guys can't see. So there is this little part sticking out here. So that's the part that you're just going to kind of, either you could trim it off, but to make sure that my, um, my wire is going to stay in there, I'm going to bend it down. So I'm just going to take these and I'm just going to bend it making sure that it will stay on. So I'm just going to, oh, and then the next thing is you're just going to take a, um, like, needle, or, okay, either, like, pliers or scissors, and you're just going to make a hole over here, and then you're just going to attach this. And, yeah, so I'm going to do those real quick, and then I will be right back. And we are done with the finished product. So here what it looks like on the underneath, and then you can just really easily slide this off and you can um it's kind of hard to see it but you can just slide it back on over the clip and this is a really easy diy project as you can see there's not very many steps and sorry about the camera just fell um i had to get a new case to stand it up but i hope you guys like this video and comment down below what videos i should do next and don't forget to subscribe and i will give you guys a shout out bye guys